I guarantee you, most people who are about ready to try something new, and even with the new year, it'll be coming up before you know it with their New Year's resolutions, will start something, and then within, give or take, a week and a half, they'll stop. They'll post all over Facebook and everything and all over social media. This is a new me. This is the new, my new year, my year to take. But then at that same time, they'll post selfies of themselves every single day, showing you the good that they're doing. But then after, yeah, about a week and a half, they're done. There's a little secret I have kind of figured out over time with, for example, exercising and just anything you're willing to try new. The ones who are willing to put in the work aren't going to be posting it every single day. Now, there's differences between things such as, you know, if you're doing some sort of challenge or something like that, but people who just, for example, say, I'm going to try something new and they have no foundation on it and they're just gonna you know post it every day they're never successful they're never successful now you might be asking well how do you become successful at something like this well there's a channel I've been following a little bit lately it's called dry creek wrangler school it's this older dude his name's Dwayne and he talks about he's a man who's got a lot of wisdom a lot, a lot of wisdom. At some point, I'd actually like to meet, to meet the dude. Dude's a legend. Um, he talks about a concept of sometimes you just got to cowboy up, which in essence means you got to have that cowboy energy where you're willing in whatever situation to stay calm and confident even if you don't know what the outcome will be. And that's, that's something that most people lack today. And even myself, I mean, 100% myself. But the point to this is anything you try new, you need to at least be acting. You got to have the confidence when you go into it, acting like you're going to do it. And you need to, outside of whatever you are attaining to do, you need to really be not overthinking it, not overthinking whatever that goal is, but you need to put, and not, not even limitations, but you need to be putting many goals within your long-term goal of whatever that goal is, if that makes sense. One thing I find, for example, that really helps me for even things such as running, I set goals within my running goals. For example, for a while, my goal was, okay, a while, a while, this was a couple years ago, it would be, okay, if I can't run today because I'm too sore, I need to at least walk or jog lightly two miles. And then from there, transition to, okay, if I'm not going to run those two, two miles, I'm at least walking to where I'm sticking to that goal within the goal. So you need to make sure within it, because if you just set these goals that I'm going to go to the gym every day and you've got no goals within those, you're lost. You're not going to attain anything. So for example, if you're going to start going to the gym after the new year, or around the holidays even, with the holiday season coming up. Don't just say, I'm going to get in shape. Have goals within those goals. And then goals even within those goals. Okay, well, how long are you going to exercise every day? Are you going to exercise 30 minutes a day? Are you going to go to the gym every day? And I encourage you, before you start posting selfies, or whatever, whatever you do on social media with them, Develop the routine first, and then from there, every once in a while, if you want to post it online. But the people who are trying to compare themselves to others by posting it online or whatever they're doing with it, you might not believe this, but 
a lot of people see right through you. They see right through you. And they know that you're probably that person who's posting online that you're not even really exercising. It takes, sometimes I've seen people, it takes them 20, 30 minutes on a Stairmaster just to take a photo. Just take a photo and then they might work out for five minutes. You could have worked out for 30 minutes just there because you're not getting the right lighting or whatever it is. Look, I will post when I'm, after I started working out and stuff, yeah, I'll still, I'll still snap a couple, you know, if I've get for uh, running, running every day, I'll snap a quick photo after I'm completely, after I've worked out, I'm sweaty, I'm a mess, I look like death, I'll post one. But I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to post until, or take a photo of myself until after the workout's done, minimum. That, that, that's just what you have to do. So just make sure if you're going to be trying something new, have goals within the goals, have that confidence that you can do it while having that calm demeanor too. You have to go into it not saying, oh, this I don't know anything about it. This might work out. This might not work out. You've got to be confident. You've got to be steadfast. You've got to be true to yourself. And you got to realize there's going to be a lot more days that are going to be harder than the days that you think where you're going to be, oh, this is going to be awesome. you got that runner's high going. After a few days, that fades. You'll still get good workouts in or whatever you're doing that's new. You'll have some good days, but you got to realize it's not all good. There's going to be a lot more failures within that process than there are successes. And that's why when you have those failures... You need to recognize them and you need to be jotting down new goals within them, which will maintain that confidence. And when you go into something with uncertainty, don't lack that confidence, that healthy confidence. So as Dwayne says, you got a cowboy up or as they say, man up, woman up, got to have that cowboy energy.